That's right. It's a fearful thing to be in the hand of a holy God, especially when you have lied on Him, you have told so many lies on Him when you make it as if God cannot change anybody, you can't help anybody, you say this person was born that way. I'm here to tell you different. God can change a person. I'm a walk-in, talk-in testimony of the miracle power of Jesus Christ. Before I met Jesus, I was a whoremonger. I was a drug dealer. I did anything and everything I could to make money. And God changed me, fixed me in a minute. He turned my life around in a minute as soon as I wanted to change. The problem is you don't want to change. That's why you don't want it to be true. Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. And every single knee here is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess one day. Sadly, it's going to be too late for most of you on that day. Most of you are going to bow and confess to your condemnation because you're finally going to give in to the truth. You're going to finally give in to the truth that Jesus was Lord all along and you've been mocking Him and scourging Him all your life and then you're going to pay the punishment due for your rebellion on that day. It doesn't have to be that way. Jesus Christ died to set you free. You need to turn to Him and be set free. That's the gospel. Jesus Christ is mighty. He's able. He's able to save. Do you want to be saved? That's the question. Or do you like your sin? That's the problem. You like your sin, that's the problem. Light came into the world and men chose darkness. That's the truth. Jesus Christ is coming back for a church without spot or blemish. He's not coming back for deal makers, truth breakers, all haters of good and lovers of evil, though He has a place for you. Yes, He does. I wouldn't say you want to go there. But many of you will because you won't take heed to the warning. Light came into the world and men chose darkness. It's that simple. I'm here to proclaim the kingdom of God today. I'm here to tell you today there's no other way except the name of Jesus Christ that men or women can be saved. I'm here to proudly proclaim that this is the kingdom of God. This is not America's anymore. God made this world and He'll take it back. If nine Supreme Court justices want to say that two sodomites can marry each other, then God is about to destroy this nation. Do you understand? The nations come together against the Lord and He sits in the heavens and He laughs. He doesn't care. He don't care what you think. Though hand join in hand, the wicked will not go unpunished. That's Bible. Do you understand? Jesus Christ is mighty. He's not coming back like a little baby this time. He's coming back mighty, full of power. He's coming back with a sword. He's coming back to destroy the wicked of this earth. Repent and believe the gospel there's hope in the gospel if you want to change you can change i tell you before i before i came to jesus i was a different man i wasn't even a man i was just a little boy oh i was grown up all right but i was just a little selfish boy i didn't have any courage i didn't have any honor i didn't do anything worth anything why because i was just i was just angry at the world angry at myself but i tell you that i thought i went too far but jesus no he spared my life in the same way he could spare yours you don't have to go on in your bitterness you don't have to go on in your anger you don't have to go on frustrated jesus said i come unto me and i give you rest don't stop short of the rest You've been promised. But the problem is you love your sin. That's the problem. You take rest in things that shouldn't give you no rest. Peace, peace, and there is no peace. Alcohol will never give you peace. Marijuana will never give you peace. Nope, it's going to run out. You're going to need more. But the blood of Jesus will give you peace. Yes, sir. Have, this is a state park. You actually got to have a permit to do something like this in the park. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm gonna have to ask you. Uh, you know, you're gonna have to head out. So uh, I don't have a First this. Amendment right in the state park. You do, but we uh, ask people to get permits before they do things like this. Okay. 
Well, I mean, I don't know how. So how am I going to? How do I have First Amendment? But I have to have a permit. That is my permit. It's a it's a state park rule. Yeah, to, you know, you're uh, talking a, loud on the speakerphone. Well, I and, can uh, put the speakerphone down, be. but uh, I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine. You just can't, you know, it can't bother other visitors. Like that's why we we ask that you have a permit for something like this. You know what right, I mean? Right, right. But okay. um, but I do have a permit. The First Amendment is my permit. Okay, sir. It's a state uh, park. That means tax. It's a state payers. park. I understand that, but yeah, uh, because it's a it's loud noise and property. it can bother other people, you do have to have a permit. Yeah. There's a lot of so loud noise. So you have to apply for that. Okay. Or do you, you know, okay. the, the boat over there is kind of loud. You, I mean, you know. Come on, sir. I'm trying to work with you here. I, I'm that. not trying to be, uh, I'm just saying. I know you're not. I'm just pointing out the fact. I mean, okay. if we yeah. have a First Amendment right, we have a First Amendment right, you know? I, I appreciate what you're saying. It's just that, you know, it's it's a state park, and when you're making a loud, a loud noise like it's a state park, that's right. something you're going to be doing. All that we ask is that you apply for a permit. Well, how do I do all. that? How do I'll I do get, that? I'll get you the park office phone number. Oh, please do. Okay.